Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dynasty. What I got for y'all today again is another Injustice 2 video. And pretty much today is going to be a video showcasing all the things that did not make the final cut of Injustice 2. There was a bunch of different gear pieces, appearance changes inside of the game that just did not make the final cut because of censorship, because of, you know, this game being rated T for teen, and a lot of things were a bit too risky. And uh, this is all coming courtesy of the senior artists over at Netherrealm Studios. And the reason why this is even more, I guess, worth watching is his Instagram profile, where all of these awesome concepts were actually showcased, is now private. So it's kind of like really tough to actually see these things now because he has a private account he has to accept you to actually see these so thankfully i screen grabbed a ton of these before he turned his account private i'm not too sure why he turned his account private i know i made a video showcasing a few of these images not too long ago which is why i'm making a second video uh, i'm not sure if he got some bad feedback because people were talking about a bunch of the concepts or what actually happened but nonetheless it's going to be a pretty lengthy video because we have a ton of cool things to talk about before that guys could you take one second and please drop a like on the video thank you all so much for the recent love and support you guys are the best and with this out of the way let's get into the reason why you're here dynasty show me the car facts or in this case the concept art so first things first bam you can see we got the early look of Catwoman. I did showcase this in the past, but in case you missed that video, uh, as you can see, Catwoman looking very, uh, very, uh, yeah, it's a lot, a lot of stuff going on for cleavage. Now, moving on to the next image as well, something you may have seen before. Bam, we got the early version of Black Canary where she's rocking the black and the purple color scheme. She has a different face, a different hairstyle, and if you can see her backside, her ass is, uh, it's pretty gigantic. Now, speaking of Black Canary, what I think is interesting is there is a piece of gear you would not believe was going to be added inside of Injustice 2. Bam! Yes! Black Canary was going to be having a biker helmet. Now it says here a tier to the helmets that were cut. This wasn't the final material. This is a work in progress shop because I was trying different materials and shaders. I tried leather, shiny, and even glittery surfaces. One helmet had wings on the side. That would have been so cool. And another had a skull on the back. So Black Canary was going to have a helmet. And of course, the reason why this was taken out because of her, uh, her Canary Cry really wouldn't make much sense if she has a helmet on. How is the vocal... Uh, you know, the sound wave's gonna leave the helmet if she has a helmet covering her mouth, so I'm pretty sure he does mention that is the reason why they did scrap the helmets, but yeah, they're, you're gonna have helmets on Black Canary, which would have been so random and just looked so, so weird for you, you know what I mean? Uh, here's, yet again, some more of, uh, helmets. Bam, you can see, got different helmets, one, two, three, four, a couple masks as well for Black Canary, it says here, another gear piece Canary lost is due to hair, and the blatantly, obviously, clipping, it was going to cause her classic pointy wing mask. So, of course, for you guys who are fans of Black Canary, you can see she had a lot of things that just did not make the final cut, which is kind of a bummer. Moving on, though, to another female character. Of course, this guy, Sihan Gihan, actually specializes in creating the females inside of Injustice 2. So, if you're freaking out and saying, why does this guy just have female concepts art? Well, that's why. So, here we got a Poison Ivy concept. Bam! He says here, not all the females are meant to be thick or athletic. When I designed Ivy's body, I wanted someone tall and elegant looking. I looked at a lot of Victoria's Secret models. Fun fact, I would have liked smaller boobs, but because a lot of our females got breast reduction, cough, cough, cat woman, uh, <laughs> Ivy kept her size just slightly. She became the new curvy one once Catwoman lost that place to direction. So, of course, Catwoman was meant to be a very sexual, uh, you know, curvy female inside the game but because they changed that they had to have at least one of course poison ivy took that spawn of course you can see there her concept and speaking of like i mentioned more females you got another concept out for wonder woman it says here bam fun fact wonder woman was one of the first females i did pre-production of injustice 2 i was assigned early the task of making wonder woman as beautiful as i could get of course you can see there her attire is definitely different than you know what she rocks you know by default inside of injustice if I'm not mistaken we have some other images you're gonna freak out when you see them as well now we got gorilla grod yes gorilla grod bam it says here as well fun fact he loves his fun fact Fun fact, Grodd had a floating ring on his back at one point, but because of a host of issues it could cause, it was dropped. He also had this giant scoop thing on his chest. As you can see, it's on the left-hand side there. Uh, sometimes things look cool in concept, but not in 3D. Or they look great in both, but won't function with characters' moves. So, Grodd is going to have a floating ring behind him, and he was also going to have this massive, you know, pyramid 
coming out of his chest. He would have looked, you know, honestly like a warrior, like a knight or something. And it's crazy because, like he mentions there, it just didn't look right. And it, it just, you know, a bunch of problems were made because of that concept. Moving back to a Black Canary concept art, though, it says here, BAM! So at one point in time, Black Canary had some risque attire, according to some. It was felt she wouldn't be Black Canary and just be some biker chick in bondage gear. I can't say I agree on that, but I was outnumbered in votes to keep it. A lot of this gear was dropped or layers hidden under the many jackets in her gear system. Also, her exposed torso was covered up, so there's no skin, just body suits. And of course, you can see there, she's rocking pretty much nothing but like a bralette, I guess. And she has a lot of skin. Very edgy. Of course, you can also see on the top there, she has the biker helmet. And it's a shame because I think she does look like a biker chick, something out of like Mad Max. I think she looks pretty kick ass. So it's a shame that Netherm Studios kind of censored a lot of these things because I honestly feel what made the game a tad better and had a bit more variety to the gear system for certain characters like Black Canary, who I feel is very limited in what her appearance looks like. Now, this one is going to freak you out. So, of course, you have Starfire as DLC. And at one point, she did not look like what she looks like now. So, here it is, guys. Bam, he says here, I had done super early mock-ups for Starfire. This is pre-production when she would still be considered that she'd make the cut. She was super simple and people were wondering how her hair would even function. Also, despite the enormous boobs in one of her original designs, I made them smaller by the end to fit her petite frame in because logically her skippy bodysuit wouldn't hold them in. I never got to circle back and finish her because of time and other things on my agenda to do. So, of course, this is going to be his version of Starfire inside of Injustice 2. And honestly, I'm not too sure how I would have felt if this was what she looked like because I really do love the look she has now. So, in a way, I'm kind of glad that he didn't have time to actually finish her character because I don't really like the hair and uh, the face just looks weird. You know what I mean? So, uh, you can see there she has a, uh, you know, showing a lot more skin than she usually does as well. So, again, an early look at Starfly before she was even officially making the cut as a DLC character by the guys over at Netherrealm Studios. Now, speaking of females, you got another female, you know, early appearance as well. We got Harley Quinn. You guys are going to freak as well for this one too. Bam! Yes! Look at that hairstyle. It is completely different. This is going to be Harley Quinn's default attire. Her default look inside of Adjust 2. Check this out as well. Bam! It says, fun fact, Harley is meant to start off with shorts, but ended up with pants instead because she looked closer to her original self. She was also curvier and more risque. I had to tone the sexiness down a notch. And speaking of just like toning things down and censorship, like I mentioned, you know, here's the proof right here. He actually says this. Bam! Canary was way cooler looking in my opinion before they censored a lot of her. She had way more skin showing but in a Mad Max sort of way. Lots of metal and leather strap, things that were concealed. Fun fact, the mask are based on the TV show Green Arrow version and the painted face mask for when she appeared on Smallville. So if you need proof, there's the proof. This guy is the senior artist and he just comes out and confirms like, yeah, by the way, had to censor a lot of Black Canary. Now moving on to like I mentioned earlier in the video, we have another image of what Wonder Woman looked like originally. Bam! Throwback to when I was putting together Wonder Woman's first gear that was scrapped. Some pieces made it, but a lot didn't. And of course, I, I don't like this. I, I don't like the like the fur on the top and on the bottom of the suit. It just looks a little outlandish in my opinion. Speaking of, of course, Black Canary and females, so that's all we talk about according to this guy. Bam! Fun fact, the hair shape and style that made it to the game is not the original I made. It was more of a youthful hairstyle that unfortunately was cut because the bangs cause weird shadow issues on her face. So unfortunately, it just didn't make the final cut and I think it looks so much better in my personal opinion. Now we're getting towards the end here guys, so here is another female we not talked about, it's actually going to be Cheetah. Bam! You can see a early concept for Cheetah where he says, For Cheetah, I sculpted her based off an Olympic runner. Makes sense, right? She's a Cheetah. She'd be mostly legs and lean and tall, so it seemed like the best reference for her. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy because this dude used a you know an Olympic runner to create this character that, of course, we now know is Cheetah inside of Injustice 2. Here's it again. Another look at Harley Quinn's hairstyle and her early concept. Bam! She looks pretty crazy, guys. I don't know if I would have liked this hairstyle. It's so different to what we see inside of Injustice 2 right now. Like, I I feel like it would have got a lot of mixed opinions. So I'm honestly kind of glad they went the direction they went with. And of course, speaking of Harley, bam, you can see he got her shorts. He says here, I'm clearly an ass man. And I took great care to emphasize that with Harley shorts. DC was not having it, but it tied well with the garter she wore underneath them to hold up her stockings. Regardless, they were stretched to fit over her cheeks because nope. Apparently ass is a scary thing in video games. So again, massive censorship from WB. And honestly, 
can't really blame them because there is a bunch of skin originally in this game. And of course, the last concept art is also, again, for Harley Quinn. Bam! You can see here now she has some pigtails, which I think actually looks kind of cool. Those goggles in her face looks a little off, but uh, yeah, both of those early concepts of Harley, man, I... I don't know, it just looks really rough compared to what we have now. We have the pigtails now, but those just look... They look really just, like, perky and, and, and weird shapes. And I'm going to stop using adjectives because you guys are think I'm talking about something else. But anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Of course, like I mentioned, all these screenshots are coming from the official senior artist over in their studios before he privated his Instagram account. Over 10 minutes of just concept art that, of course, I think you guys want to see if you want to see some censorship. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like on it. And of course, subscribe for some more interesting content down inside the comment section below. Which concept did you uh, like the most that you wish would have made the final cut instead of it just to let me know? Till next time, I've been your host, Medina. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see all you beautiful people. Later. Peace. You one of the greatest. You deserve more exposure, man. You underrated. To all the dynasty haters, promise you'll love them later. Y'all gonna react like he did when he seen the trailer. But hold up, let me hit y'all with a twist. Wait, I'm Sub Zero. The rap game is the Lin Kuei. You see, I've been a fan of Dynasty for years now. GTA, MK, and Justice. I'm still down rapper.